Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be working on our spelling words for the day. Please make sure that you are in the middle portion of your book on page 20. Now we're actually going to start off with a new phonogram. So if you would, take and turn all the way to the front portion of your book to page 8. Page 8. We already have a number of phonograms that we've already done, and we're going to do another one. And it is going to be the O U R phonogram. Right? And this makes a er sound, like in the word journal. Okay? So uh, we'll do journey. Journey. Base word journey. Jur ne. J er. Okay? O U R. N e. Here we're going to use an E Y to make that I sound. Okay? So write journey. J, er, our new phonogram, ne. Markings, j, er, once, n, i, once, three. Journey, I guess. So their sound, a, e, i. All right, but here's a new phonogram, and we're going to have three words that's going to have this o, u, r, er in it today. All right. If you need more time, you can always pause the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and turn back to page 20 in the middle portion of our book. And the first word is journey. So a journey is if you go on a trip, you're going on a journey. Journey, base word journey. Jur, ne, j, er, n, i, journey. Write it. Jur, ne. Markings, j, er, once. N, I, once, three, journey. Now, the next word is journal. Right? So if you go on a journey and you want to keep a record of everything that happens on the journey, you keep that in a journal. Right? We're going to treat journal as just a base word. Okay? Journal, base word journal. Jur, now. J, er, n, a, o. Journal. Jur. Now. Journal. Markings. J er once. N a o. Journal. Now, if you go on a journey, there might be lots of dangers, and therefore you need to have courage. Okay, so courage is going to have the same er. Okay, courage. Base word courage. Cur, age, cur, a, j, e, courage, right? Courage, cur, age. Markings, cur, once, a, once, j, once, e, once, courage. All right, and let's brace those. All right, so, um, just remember, this isn't one of the ones you have to have memorized, but these are, this is the three letter er, that's O-U-R. All right, we don't see it often, but we'll see it in these words this week. All right, the next word is lay, like lay down. Lay, base word lay. L a lay. All right, right, lay. L a lay. Right? Now, if you lay something down, in the past you laid it down. Right? So the next word is laid. But this word, along with some of the others we're going to have, do not follow the normal rule. Now, normally what we do is lay, base word lay, ending duh. Right? And then you would take the lay, change the Y to an I, and add ED. But then we have A I. E. We have a whole lot of vowels in a row, and we don't necessarily like all of that. So what we're going to do for these words, right, is we're going to get rid of the E. We're just going to add the D, okay? So it does not follow the rule, right? So it's going to be L, A, D. We got rid of the E, and it's only one syllable, right? Just because we don't want an A, I, E all in a row. So this is an irregular verb. It does not follow the normal pattern. Right, right, laid. L, A, D. 
laid markings. L a once, duh, laid. Now, the next one is pay. I want you to pay something. Pay, base word, pay. P a, pay. Okay, right, pay. P a. Markings, P a, once, pay. The next word is paid. Like, have you paid the bill? So again, here, I don't want that A-I-E. Change the Y to an I and that E. I don't want A-I-E. So get rid of the E. It's just going to be paid. P-A-D. Paid. This is the A-I phonogram, right? Paid. P-A-D. Paid. Markings. P-A once. D. Paid. The next word is say. What did you say? Say. S-A. Say. S A say. Markings. S A once. Say. Now, again, the past tense is said. So, again, normally what we do is change the Y to an I and add E D. But now I have an A I E. I don't like that. So, it's going to be said with just an A I phonogram. But A I doesn't say, doesn't say that. It only says A. It doesn't say. Ed for said, right? So here's another way it doesn't follow the rule, but it follows the same pattern as laid and paid. Right? That'll be helpful to you in remembering that it follows the same pattern as lay, laid, and paid. It just doesn't say said. It says said. So said, s e d said, and we're gonna double underline that. Okay, go ahead and write it. Said, s e d markings, s e twice, d said, right? So go ahead and phrase that. All right. And the next word is physical, right? Now this comes from the base word physic, which has to do with, um, with movement. So physical has to do with movement. So physical, base word physic, ending al. I write physic, add al to make the word physical. Physical. I, z, I, k, a, o, physical. Okay. Fi. Oops, I forgot to say that's a Y that's making that. Z is an S. Z. Cal is a C. Cal. Physical. Markings. F, once. I, z, two. I, k. Now, we didn't talk about it, but we could have. Rule 10, a, u. Now, in physic, the S, I, C is one syllable. And so you have to determine, am I, am I going to double this C before I add the L? But because the emphasis falls on the physical, it's physical. The emphasis is on the front of the word, not on the last syllable. We don't have to double it. And then a, u. Right? So we don't do double C because the emphasis, the, the, um, the accent of the word isn't on the cow, it's on the fizz, okay, on the fit. That's where the accent is. All right, I believe that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, well, that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.